everyone! I, my name is Lauren Legitice, and I am, oh, let me fix this a little bit. It's been a crazy morning. Uh, multiple devices trying to get this done. Okay, so my name is Lauren Legitice. I am an actor, comedian, came character chameleon um, based in New York City. So I'm going to do a Mary Poppins makeup tutorial um, in honor of both the movie coming out and my short web miniseries, Mary Poppins takes on U.S. education, which is now on Instagram at Lauren Logi. I realize that when I do the the flip of the camera, that that's backwards, and I'm sorry about that. But I will fix that soon. I will figure that out. All right. So now let me make this camera straight. This is the first time I'm doing one of these tutorials. Um, you know, my 12 year old self is kind of a little bit perplexed um, because I am not a makeup person, and maybe you're like me. You want to do this Mary Poppins thing, you want to make a look like her, but you're not necessarily a makeup person at all. Um, in fact, you're probably the least likely person to be watching a makeup tutorial. You don't follow fashion bloggers, you don't um, look for makeup tips, you're not sucked into Sephora every time you pass it, um, like me. And so, but you want to learn how to do this. So that's how I learned. I am not necessarily this kind of person, but I do characters. And so through the years, I've developed tips um, to basically make it easy and make it look good, what you want to do. Okay, so um, first what you want to do is what I always do. I'm going to give you everything top to tail exactly how I do it. Okay, so the first thing I do is have these really cool clips that my mom gave me. Um, they're from like when steel was steel. Um, so she, I put them here. They're fantastic. They're like what uh, hairstylist might have. And I put my hair back. Now, the thing with Mary Poppins, okay, let's just have a word about Mary Poppins makeup. Less is more. I'll say it again. Less is more. Mary Poppins is a nanny whose job it is to work for children. You don't want to overdo it at all, ever, ever, ever with Mary. The less is more. I'll say it again. The hat, the costume will give it away. You don't need to do any sort of elaborate setup because I have seen a lot of people do Mary Poppins and they look like they're about to go step into a nightclub, which, you know, Hey, if that's your interpretation, rock on with your bad self. That's amazing. But that's not exactly Mary Poppins. Okay, so first things first is you probably should just get a base. So I use Smashbox. Um, it is the cheaper version of Makeup Forever. Uh, this great store in Philly. I'm part-time in Philly as well. And um, this great store in Philly called Madison K. I love her. She's independent owner, women entrepreneur, I mean, you got to support. Um, she's always, I go in there and I tell her like, this is the makeup that I think I should get. And then she recommends the stuff that is cheaper. And the same thing, I feel like it's the same thing as Makeup Forever. No change. I'm not, I don't get any endorsements. I'm not being paid to say this. I'm giving you off the cuff advice. Basically all the stuff that I've learned and I am passing it on to you. Okay, so you just put on a nice base. Butter bing, you know, just to kind of smooth things out. You, like Mary Poppins has a very smooth, smooth look to her. Very unfettered, spitzable, taken care of. All right, so, okay. Um, now, I actually, when I did the shoot for Mary Poppins Takes on Education, I did not do anything to my eyebrows. And so you want to see my eyebrows are just kind of naturally not that thick, somewhat thin, and that's how Julie Andrews, and by the way, I'm basing this on the Julie Andrews interpretation of Mary Poppins. Um, I've not really looked into depth about M Emily Blunt's makeup. That's something else, but I think it is very similar from what I've seen. So um, now I've noticed, see me, I have, now it's a little bit better, but I have a color differential from my face to my neck. Um, I do not know why, it's just always been there. So I actually bronze my neck. Uh, I bronze my neck like a boss, okay? So I just put that on here. Do, 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 do. Okay, put it on there and then it looks a little bit closer. Um, makeup artists are probably like flipping out when they see this because this is not done um, in the most elegant way. But again, for us, for our, our purposes, we're not those people. We're here to just get it done and get out the door to more important things. 
for our lives. That's how we think. Okay, so next thing is the eye. Very, very simple. If you look close-ups of Mary Poppins, and it's actually a little more difficult than you think, um, she just uses, I'm using just, this is a went to CVS and got purple eyeshadow situation. <laughs> Not very scientific. It works fine. Um, I have one also that I got from someone a few years ago um, that also works. I mean, it's you don't need you just need a light violet purple, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put it uh, um, right on your eye like that. And you know, sometimes I don't have a brush handy. I do have brushes, but I don't feel like using it. And you don't have to. You don't need the brushes. In fact, a lot of makeup artists are just like kind of. It's just like it's like painting. You don't. Do you need a brush? No, not always. Maybe you. Maybe you do want a brush. Fine, fine, fine. But you don't need one. Okay. So just put a little bit on here like that. All right. You don't. Again, less is more. You don't want to go too much. But just a little bit, and maybe a little. If you want to go a little bit up, to show that a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay. Then what you want to do is, now if you want to brighten it up, you could put, I do have this um, sparkly white stuff. You could put, if you wanted to put like a little layer of, this is just something I got at Sephora, um, Urban Decay. And it works out, it's called Space Cowboy. And it works pretty well in terms of getting um, some little bit of sparkle and shine. Here we go. If you wanna do that, that's cool. If not, you don't have to. I, I don't think I did that for the shoot either. I kept it really simple because that's Mary Poppins. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do, I have several eyeliners that don't work well. And that's what you need, an eyeliner that sucks. Okay, so I have this eyeliner it is old school wet and wild yes do they even sell wet and wild anymore i'm not sure okay so what you want to do is you just want to put on a line i'm going to use this as well to help me look at i had my grandma gave me this but i feel like it's so appropriate for mary poppins to have this in here okay so i'm going to use that to help me as well um all right so you want to put some eyeliner on not too much and the reason why you need eyeliner that doesn't work so well is because you need you don't want like a really thick line at all at all right here and the fact that went a little too far up that's it that's all you want that's it and then at the bottom you want to put um um here we go just a little bit at the bottom and again you don't want it too thick if you look at the close-ups of julie andrews her eyes are really really subtle to so see there you go the bottom okay then I'm gonna do the other side here we go other side and what mild just doesn't come on that thick at least the pencil I have and so that's what you want if it did it would ruin this whole thing and then I'd have to like um what do you call it blend it out is that the right word so you just want to go here. Um, okay. Now, if you have one thing more thing about eyebrows, so that's it. That's it. Now, for eyebrows, if you have eyebrows that are like thinner than mine, you might want to just fill them in with a light brown and keep it really, really like subtle. She does not have like look at me eyebrows at all. Okay. The next thing that Mary does, or the Julian slash dear Julie Andrews slash the makeup artists over, um, I'm gonna just use my hands for this. I usually use for br blush, usually a brush, but I think my uh, my brush is somewhere else. So we're gonna just do this. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna say, maybe this is an experiment. I'm just gonna continue to use no, do not that not using a brush. Let's see. Oh, that looks pretty good. So she does a rosy cheeks. And if you think when the Banks children are writing their letters, letter about what they want for a nanny, and rosy cheeks is on it. And, and she, in fact, does that. Okay? So rosy cheeks. You need rosy cheeks. And a little up high on the, on the cheekbone. But subtle. Not, nothing too intense. Okay, then that light. That light making it look, look a little bit, like, intense, too intense. But okay, let's see. Here. Here we go. All right, 
Okay. Here we go. Again, this is makeup just to get you out the door and make it happen. See? There we go. All right. You got your rosy cheeks. Done. Check. Okay? Rosy cheeks. We got it. Let me lower this light a little bit, actually, so we can see this a little more. All right. See? Rosy cheeks. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. All right. So we're done with that. You can put on a little bit of mascara. Not, like, super necessary, but it's good. I always find it looks, my eyes look weird without mascara if I have eye makeup on. Okay. Okay. There we go. But nothing crazy. You don't want to, like, go off the chain for Mary. Mary is not trying to get seduce anyone. She is just trying to take care of business with the, the kids. All right. Okay. So there we go. We have that. We have the eyes all done. All right. Now we need to put lips on. All right. So what I want to do is I use this. It's a, it's an old Mac pencil that's like brownish reddish. And you can align. I like to put on, I have already have on some nice, um, Um, what is that called? Badger lip balm. That's what I have on. Okay. Uh, 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 uh,
All right, and so she also does this uh, great, they, the makeup, the hair people at, at the studio were so incredible. Like they had this nice little, and you could sit there and you could fudge with it, okay? Nice little like up thing right here. It kind of goes a loop. And so if you have dark hair already, you can probably even do a better job. It's just hard to get the pins exact. So I try to get like, I look here and I try to get in there, okay? And in the back, you see that, and you'll want it, depending on how long you're going to be in it, you'll want to pin the hell out of it. And then I put on my Mary Poppins gear. You're just going to die once so easy. I snap on the shirt. I mean. Okay. Put on the jacket. Put on the jacket. Put on the jacket. Now, one thing about Mary Poppins when I did her is that we noticed that my the costume I happened to buy had a bow tie. That what these buttons? Okay, perfect. I did right. That this button was blue, but in fact my series is a little blue. You get to see Mary Poppins in a little more sassy than you've ever seen her. All right. All right. She's, um, so Mary Poppins, I put her for comedic value. I put her as a principal or a well, running a school and she goes to the very rich school and a very poor school and she then deals with some of the issues that students there are facing. So, and then last but not least, oops, 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 oops. Now, I do not get, I do not get fancy. I do not get fancy folks I did not sit here and stitch this came as a plain black hat and I did not I went to Michael's and bought the little birdie and then the I did not what I do what did I do how did I get these on I stapled them practically perfect in every way because you cannot tell in the video if you can let me know but you cannot tell in the video at all so lesson we learned today is to get it your makeup get it practically perfectly done in whatever way you can so i'm mary poppins check out my series at instagram you can also count it, catch it on youtube on this channel subscribe um join me on instagram at at logi and if you know how to make one of these um that would register correctly when i'm doing the reverse uh, shot let me know um, thank you and I hope you have a practically perfect day in every way spit spot oh my goodness what a day